you want to know how to create an outstanding poster for your project that will leave everyone that looks at it amazed and they will never forget your project, then just continue watching. In this tutorial, I'll explain how I created this poster from scratch in a very easy, efficient and fast way. For that, let's jump into screen recording to show you how to start. and welcome back to tips with Mona if you haven't seen my face before hi my name is Mona Abu Fayyad and I'm a designer and architect in this channel I explain some tricks for you please like share subscribe and hit the notifications bell on if you haven't already but for now let's start our video so I have here my Photoshop opened I'll create new I'll make my poster uh, 1000 mm by 600 mm. I'll make it landscape and I'll hit create. So this is going to be our poster. But first, I have to show you what materials I have collected to create this poster. Today, I will work with this beautiful villa. For sure, I have collected some, some renders for this villa, sections, plans and some text for sure let's open the text so it's called villa s2 it's by mark architects it's in netherlands amsterdam so here in this word file i have collected the text that i will be using in our poster so it's just the title where it is located some description and some sustainability aspect okay so the first thing you want to do is that you will brainstorm the ideas and what you have in a board. You can sketch it, you can use pencil sketching, you can use your iPad, you can use whatever you like to brainstorm your ideas and to check how your poster is going to look like. For me, to do it real quick, I'll show you here on PowerPoint how I will create that. So I'll go to insert shapes and I'll try to arrange my ideas. So first thing I'm first thing I'm thinking of is my render shot. So here I'll write render and I'll create another shape. Here I want to put my plans, sections and and here I would like to put some uh, diagrams slash analysis. Here I can put some text and here finally i can put any interior design shot so here i have brainstormed how i want my poster to look like so here i put my render plan sections diagrams and analysis some text and an interior shot so then i'll jump to photoshop and start applying what i have decided to work with okay so first thing i'll drag my shot that i want to work with And then I'll start making my render shot look like it's fading in the poster. So for that, I'll select with my polygonal lasso tool the area around the villa. So now I have selected everything around the villa you can do it the other way you can select the villa itself and then go to select select inverse and it will select everything else other than the villa now i'll go really quickly to my clone stamp tool i'll use a larger brush and i'll rasterize my layer and then i'll take a drip with my alt so i'll press alt to take a reference and then i'll just make the color of the sky fade with the background so the purpose of this is uh, having a continuous background for the villa let's do this real quick now i'll go to my brush tool to continue doing the same work but this time with the brush I'll take a drop from the color with my alt and then I'll just try to fade it 
and then now we can go back to the clone and whenever we have differences in the colors we can just take a drip increase the size of the brush and just start giving the same vibe now I'll just deselect and make a new selection from here if you can notice we can place a darker color and this will act as our soil I will just randomly make a selection right here with my polygonal lasso tool to make the soil of the building and then I zoom in I'll use my brush to take a brown drip from this soil I'll just fill it and then I'll deselect and I'll just select again this part of the villa it will make the illusion that you're cutting onto your soil and then I'll take my brush take this color from the image itself increase the size of the selection and just fill now I'll just deselect and now I'll open my folder here I have downloaded two images two textures that will make my soil look more realistic so i'll drag this one right now and i'll ctrl j my new texture to repeat it all along the soil and then i'll just select all these layers and ctrl e to merge them then i'll try to place them in a way to cover all my uh, soil then i'll go to the blending mode and try to select something that will work with the purpose and then i'll use the mask and i'll go to my brush and then i'll use a smaller brush to fade the layer effect now i'll do the same with the other texture all right okay now let's jump into the word file okay right here we have the title i'll copy it i'll create a text here and i'll paste and then i'll change the size and the font i'll use something bold okay i'll change the color to something really light like this shade of gray and maybe for the location because it's less important I'll make it a little bit smaller okay the next step okay so now we've placed our rendered shot and we've faded the edges so we can place the other things that we have over here which are diagrams text interior shot plans and sections let's now start with the plans and sections i want to place them right here on the dark strip that we've just created as our soil i'll go to the folder i'll take the ground floor now because we have a white background and i don't like that i'll go to select color range i'll select the white color and i'll just delete it but first I'll rasterize my layer and then I'll hit on my keyboard Ctrl I Ctrl I will allow me to invert the colors so now I'm using inverted colors for the plan so that's why now it is white of course when you have your own extracted plans it will be much cleaner than downloading them from the internet just like what I did and now I'll do the same for the other two plants so now I have moved the ground floor and the first to the right because I discovered that I have a basement plan 
so it will be organized basement ground then first floor now let's get to the sections for the sections to give them the same vibe of the plans i'll just select the both layers and give them a divide blending effect so it didn't remove the presentation but at the same time it gave it the vibe that they are matching the presentation of the poster but we can do something really quick first we need to rasterize these layers and then we need to go and create masking for each one of these sections and then use our brush tool increase the increase the size of the brush and we will use a very soft edge brush and just try to fade the edges of the section with the soil just to give it a feeling that our presentation is all blended together so now we have our render our plans and sections and our title for sure let's go back to our brainstorming board and see now we still have to put our diagrams and analysis let's put this really quick i think here we have our conceptual sketchy model i'll use the blending modes to blend this conceptual model with our poster i think multiply is enough and then i'll drag the other thing that we were talking about which is the analysis of the sun and how the trees can affect the project and i'll place it right here let's go ahead and place the text as we mentioned here i'll go to the word and i'll copy the description of the project i'll use the text i'll use of course a different font and I'll scale it down to 30 and then I'll use a white color. Then I think I can place the other text right here, which is which is about the sustainability. I always like to align my paragraphs. So I'll use justify last left and I'll just hit OK. And then go ahead and choose the interior shot that I want to use. I'll use this one. You can also add some titles, it's totally fine. Let's do this real quick. adding the titles this is the final product that we came up in a very 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 short time of course when you have your own drawings and your own renders your own extractions it will be much much better and higher in resolution and we should not forget the benefit of creating a brainstorming board for you it could be as i told you a sketch a hand sketch a powerpoint just like what i did or even a sketch on your ipad you can do whatever you like and whatever you think is easier for you so believe in the power of brainstorming always and forever so guys let me show you a quick before and after as you can see right here these are the things that we've worked with just remember that this image right here was just an image like this with no extents and then we've done this product out of that small image thank you so much for watching bye so this is the end of our video thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe like share and hit the notifications bell on see you in the next one bye